guys, it's Miss Mary with the Menifee County 4-H Extension Office. And so, um, Botts Elementary has the 21st Century Grant and Miss Emily has asked me to bring uh, some farm animals to you guys for Monday, March 30th. Since you guys are out of school, uh, we came up with the idea of kind of doing a virtual way of bringing farm animals today. So one of the first animals I was gonna bring this for you guys to see was Miss Sunday. And Sunday is a bottle calf. She is a Jersey Hartford Cross. Come here, Miss Sunday, so I can see you. And so she was born on December 8th. She loves to suck your fingers. Um, she now is four months old and of course loves her mama very, very much. She does have horns. And so this, if she didn't have horns, she'd be called pole. So for you guys that may not know what a cross means, it's kind of like having a heart, having a um, beagle and a Jack Russell dog mixed. And so she would be Jersey and Hereford Cross. And so this is Miss Sunday. I hope you all like her. We like her quite a bit. And so now we're going to go to the barn so you guys can meet Sunday's mom, Jezebel. So hold on. Okay guys, we're back here in the barn, and so here in a second we are going to milk, Jaz milk Jazabel. And so just want to show you the milker that we use. And so this here is your claw. And so we will place these claws on each one of Jazabel's uh, teats. And there's a vacuum that is created, which will vacuum the milk out, go down this tube, and into the holding tank. And so that's where we'll have our milk at. And then here after we get our milk, we will also uh, feed Sunday. So hold on and we'll milk Jezebel. All right guys, here we are with Miss Jezebel. She is a little bit mad because she hasn't ate yet. But we wanted to show you what we feed her. And so this is a three-way mixture with corn, soybean holes, and corn and gluten mix. And so as you can see, she likes her feed quite well. So we will pour it out. Now let's come on back here and we'll see how we milk it out. So back in the day, they didn't have milkers like this, and they had to hand milk the cow. And so if my photographer, my husband, would zoom in on this, what you would have to do, not like come from the back, you probably can't see. Let's see if we get a spot. Can you see there? Yes. So you'd have to grab the teat, and kind of like you're playing a piano until the milk comes out. If you milk her by hand, it takes roughly 30 minutes on a good day, but I'm not very talented at that. So instead, we're going to use our electric milker. But first, we've got to clean her off. So we're just going to use a soap or um, water reaction and with a clean white towel. And we are just going to scrub her teeth, teeth nice and clean. That way we get any contaminants off there. It's a good thing we don't have to have six feet distance with our animals or Miss Mary being in trouble trying to get this cow milk every morning and night. This is a twice a day activity, roughly within 12 hours and between each time. If you don't milk them, then they'll get mastitis and get sick. And so that's probably, let's try one more time. Alright, we're not keeping any of this milk tonight because me and Eric already have our milk for the week. You turn it on. Pull the milkers up. Tell her good girl so she knows we're back here. And then place it on there. Two. Like I said, it'll take roughly five minutes to do this or less. Because I usually have to pet on this Jezebel. And so the milk that me and um, my husband drink, we actually pasteurize it. And so from an Oregon State publication, you pasteurize it for um, about 20 minutes of what it takes. But until it reaches 165 degrees for 15 seconds. And for good measure, I do it for 30 seconds. And so we're going to milk her out, and then we'll come right back. All right, guys. So 
So Jezebel is almost completed. And how we can tell that is if you look down here in these little cups, number one, her udder size is a lot smaller than it was when we started. But you can tell here in these cups how they're clear. Like this one here is clear, and this one here still has some white in it. So this strawberries in this quarter is always a little bit slower than the rest of them. But she will start to even up and become empty. And so if you don't know, a cow is a ruminant animal, so they have no teeth on the top, just on the bottom. And just like a deer, a sheep, or a goat, they have one stomach with four compartments. And so they eat a lot of grass. Um, they are... And so we're done. I can... It does fall off when it is completely finished. And so what we'll do then is I have my soap water. And just so I don't contaminate my hot boiling water to the other side, I rinse off any debris that got on there, take my rag, and wash any poo that got onto the side. That way it's not there for in the morning. And then I stick it in my hot water on the other side. Since she is all done now, I have my udder bomb. And so this is kind of like hand lotion for cow teats. I'm gonna get a little bit on it. This is menthol smelling for some reason. I guess she likes menthol. <laughs> And then I just come around here, I stand as close as I can, that way she can't kick me. And then I rub on her teats. Make sure that everything is empty. We don't want any mastitis coming. And just rub it in there. And then tell her, good girl. And so if Eric will walk around the front, you can watch her eat. She really enjoys her food, and so we are going to finish up with Jazzabelle, and then we will go feed Sunday. All right, guys. So now we're going to get the milk out of the container, got milk out of Jazzabelle, and so I just open it up, a little up here, and you guys can see inside there and see the milk that she produces. She gives us roughly um, three gallons every time that we milk her, and so for those of you guys who don't know, that Jazzabelle is considered a dairy cow, and so all cows do give milk, and so. In rough times, you could always milk an Angus if you wanted to. They just won't give as much milk as a dairy cow will. And so we figured that Jazabelle, we got her at the stockyards last year. And so she is a Jersey cross. Um, not 100% sure what she's crossed with, but she fits in really well here at our place. And so now we're going to feed Miss Sunday. And you're going to see how much Miss Sunday loves Mama's milk. The one question you might have is why is Sunday a bottle calf and not on... Um, her mom and so the hope was that we would um, have more bottle calves um, but we lost one a couple months ago and so when we end we'll show you all the calves that Jezebel raised last year for us and so we have we bucket feed here um, we start the babies off with a bottle um, but that takes a lot of time to bottle feed them and so we just pour it in a bucket and they learn how to drink out of a bucket so we pick up the milk pour it in here She gets most of it. Unless it's a day of the week, even. And then we just open up the door. And she knows right where she's supposed to go. And she just drinks it, just like you guys would be drinking out of a glass. And you see, when a cow's happy, just like a dog, they wish switch their tail back and forth. And so you can tell that she's really enjoying her bucket of milk. She gets fed twice a day. She's also of the size that she eats uh, some hay and also some grain for us. Um, she's getting really close to being lean. Um, and so then she'll go out with the um, other cats from last year. So we're gonna do this video um, a couple times this week. And so if Eric will move to his left. We'll show you some of the things that we're gonna learn about next time while we're finishing up eating. And so you can see there are some goats. And then also, you guys that know me fairly well, know how much Miss Mary loves horses. And so we have Mr. Gunny here. <coughs> and then we also will learn about pigs. And if we can talk Eric into talking, then we'll learn about chickens. So we're gonna end up here in just a second, and we'll come right back with the calves
that Jezebel raced last year. Seen it? So these are the calves that Jezebel raised for us last year. We have Mr. Marty here. We have Miss um, uh, Daisy, who if you notice, um, she was born on Martin Luther King Day last year. It was really, really cold. And so the end of her ears are gone. And so baby calves, when it's cold outside, sometimes get frostbite. And so she kind of has Shrek ears. And so if we just saw that when we named her, um, her name probably been Fiona. But I took her out of the pasture because her mama didn't want her and put her in the back of the car. And this here is Miss Marigold. And so as you can tell, Marty loves me a lot. Um, he still gives mama kisses, uh, which is getting annoying at the size that he is. But guys, we will see you one another day this week with videos on goats, horses, and pigs. You all have a great day and remember to wash your hands, especially after being out on the farm. Have a good night.